We're here with Jonah Bolden, new signing of the Sydney Kings, just signed a one-year deal. Jonah, has it sunk in to you yet that you're about to run out on the floor, that you know, your, your dad ran out with, with the Sydney Kings colours on? Has that sunk in yet? Uh, yes and no. Um, I think you know, I'm super excited to uh, <coughs> you know, get going underway and in the process, meet the team. Um, you know, kind of like I said before, though, I think it'll truly sink in once I'm uh, you know, there in the uniform with the guys in the arena hearing it. Um, you know, getting goosebumps and, and, and ready to play, but you know, I'm, I'm you know, more excited than ever, really. You know, just having you know, a little bit of you know, familial history here and you know, growing up, going to the games, my dad. Uh, but yeah, uh, you spoke about you know your skill set translating here. Um, you know, your ability to pass, your athleticism, your ability to shoot. You know, what part of your game do you feel will translate the best here? And how excited are you to play the style of basketball that Sydney Kings have been famous for playing the past two seasons? Uh, well, yeah, I'm super excited in that, in that manner too. Um, you know, I think, <clears throat> I think personally, my, my one of the biggest things that will really kind of uh, translate here is um, passing-wise. Um, you know, obviously, I, 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 that's you know my game is in the, isn't necessarily shoot first. Um, you know, I've always kind of been you know getting guys kind of going has always been my my thing. So passing, uh, but also just you know getting the rebound, pushing the floor. Um, you know, stretching the floor, you know, shooting ability, um, and, and, and defensively too. I think, you know, sometimes I don't give myself enough credit defensively, the length and, and being able to clog up the middle. Uh, but, you know, that's, that's one thing there that I think is, is really, really uh, significant. Can you walk us through the process of when you realized that you wanted to get back into the professional game again? You know, when did that happen? And once you realized it, who was the first person you called? What was the first things that you set up to, to start that, that process? Yeah, uh, the, uh, I mean, the process in and of itself, I think, for me, has been the last six six months in terms of, you know, taking it this route, coming back pro, um, really kind of a thing of just getting the itch, you know, being back around the game, playing with guys, um, you know, then getting myself more so back on court, doing more workouts. Um, and then, yeah, it was, it was kind of, you know, I just came to, after I think it was one workout, uh, a few months back where I was like, you know, I'm, I'm, let's kind of do this again because, you know, I was thinking of, I was really just seeing my body either bounce back, you know, doing different things wellness and health wise and, and you know, knowing that, you know, it's, it's a good thing to utilize that potential and, and do myself right and, you know, really kind of coming back to the game and, 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 you know, there's no better place I feel like to do it than, than home. Uh, you talk about home. Uh, have you processed yet that you get to live in Sydney again after what, what nearly a decade of not living here? You, the sun is shining today. Is, is is that exciting for you? Yeah, yeah, no doubt. Um, you know, my last few days that I've been here, it's been you know all all sunshine, and I've been kind of you know just even taking it back in that manner, seeing how much the the game itself has has excelled and really really taking a step up. Um, and then you know to that, even myself knowing that I'm going to be coming back here to, to play at that level, it's kind of a you know obviously a, a dream come true in the sense you know back back when I was growing up, it was it was you know you, you sort of take it for granted living here and everyone kind of wants to go to the NBA. Don't get me wrong, it's, that is the dream, the highest the highest uh, you know ceiling for for a player. Um, but you know there's there's nothing better than than coming back and doing it for you know your home city. Uh, when you sort of put basketball on hold for a little bit, did your love for the game diminish at all? Did it change? And, and, and if it did, was there a point where it came back and that was part of the itch to return? Yeah, I, I wouldn't say the love for the game. Uh, I mean, yeah, sure, you could say it diminished a little bit, right? I think that, and that was as a result of me not being able to give as much as I, I felt I could have, um, you know, scenario situation-wise. Um, but you know, there's no hard feelings. I think it's it's a thing of I, I knew I just needed some time away to kind of, you know, just take some thoughts and be be with myself. You know, travel a little bit, get with family that I hadn't seen in so long. Um, and and you know, I, I, you know, I never officially retired, so I knew that you know, at some point I would get that itch, um, and it's something that's kind of in in my you know membrane, in, in really really truly deeply ingrained in, in me since since birth. Um, so I knew that you know I wasn't going to go too far away, um, and and so really coming back now and, and approaching it at that you know professional level is something that I you know I'm really really excited about. So you're six ten, super athletic, super skilled, can pass it. Do you feel as though this layoff has helped you better prepare to reach that potential than perhaps you would have if you hadn't taken that time off? Uh, yeah, I mean, you could say that, right? I don't like to talk too much about, you know, hypotheticals, what ifs, um, and, you know, futures, things that you can't really control. But I think, you know, if we're talking uh, realistic, it, it definitely allowed for me, you know, my body to kind of take some time back from the, the grind every day, um, you know, Monday through Sunday, whatever it is, um, really, really, you know, lifting, whatever. And so I took, you know, I kind of went the, the wellness route, allowing the body to kind of slowly get back to its, its equilibrium. 
um, yogas, Pilates, some, some, you know, really just focusing on the diet as well, uh, clean eating and things like that. So I think that has really helped prepare me for where I'm at now. Um, you know, I, I feel my body isn't as, you know, maybe sore as maybe it would have if, you know, the diet was poor or, you know, if I hadn't been doing anything, you know, obviously you can definitely see that weight-wise or whatnot. Um, so I think, you know, altogether, I, 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 like I said, I knew I wasn't going away or retiring. I wasn't, you know, it's, tying up the, the jersey or whatever you want to call it. Um, so, yeah, I think it, it all kind of came to one. Uh, you talk about wanting to come back, embrace being in a professional environment again with teammates. How excited are you to embrace the challenge of a potential three-peat with this team that, you know, success is sort of in its DNA nowadays? Yeah, yeah, super excited. Uh, I think, you know, as, a, as an athlete or, in, in, you know, more to that as a professional athlete, that's that's kind of your goal. And, you know, whatever team you're on, you, you want to win the championship and then coming to a team like the Kings, like the you know, organization that they are, um, coming off a back-to-back, um, going into a season where you know you have the, the you know, potential to, to get a three P uh, is even more exciting. Um, you know, personally, you know my thing is always going to be with the guys and stuff day by day. Uh, you know, it's a long process. Whether you have losses here, you know, don't get too down on yourself. Whether you on win streaks, don't get too high on yourself. Um, I think you know if you approach it really like on, on in that manner and focus on the little things, you know, getting with the guys and helping build each other up. Um, you know, from coaching staff down to the last guy. Um, you know, the, the, the sky's the ceiling. Thank you, Jonah. Welcome to Sydney. Thank you.